Hi everyone, Todd Ale here. I made a video about a week and a half ago and in the comments below someone wrote in and said can you teach me how to play without a shoulder rest, without using a shoulder rest. And I'm gonna say up front that I don't think it, it's a requirement to learn to play that way. I mean, you look at many great artists nowadays using it. Um, I know that if you go back in time, especially in the 20th century, a lot of our favorite artists played without them. And, you know, it, it's nice to try and emulate these people, but what matters most is the health of your neck and shoulders and jaw. And if you can be comfortable without one, then it's, it's okay to do, of course. But if you are in any kind of pain, it's not a good idea. If it raises your tension level, it's not a good idea. But I can still give you some ideas. If you look at my early videos, probably from nine years ago or so, I didn't use one in any of those, but I wasn't doing a lot of playing at the time. So uh, the thing that is key here is your the ergonomics and your physical structure. You want to be able to hold it without raising your shoulder up. If your shoulders are naturally kind of level, um, this may be easier. If your neck is not very long, that's certainly a plus. Um, if you look at some of those old guys in photographs that did it, that wasn't always the case, but some of them have very short necks and so they were able to just slide it in there, you know, and off they went. So for me to do it, I needed something that would fill in the gap. So I went with a higher chin rest. And this chin rest is the Carl Flesch model with the hump, that's F-L-E-S-C-H. There are many with humps or ridge that you can hang on to here. And the problem is some people really hate that pressing up in there and it can if you're not careful and press too hard, it can push your jaw sideways. So it's a good idea to go to a violin shop and try different chin rests for this. Um, but if your violin is totally flat, when you, if you aren't using your shoulder to hang onto it, and by that I mean I'm setting it on my collarbone, okay? So it's between the collarbone and here. So when you go to do a descending shift, it may just fly right out, okay? So I can show you a few tricks um, if you're trying to do it with using your collarbone as the shelf. The shelf is what you're going to set the instrument on and that hump or a ridge will hang on to it without any trouble. And then you can do this. Um, you can also try something that one of my friends told me many years ago who plays without a shoulder rest and that was that he tries to angle it upward a little bit so instead of the violin being absolutely parallel to the floor he tries to make the strings parallel to the floor my wife has played like this so it uh, there are a lot of photos of him with the instrument like it looks like it's going up and it's showy it, the problem is of course it makes it harder to get out to the tip harder on the bow arm but by raising it up you're you're having the instrument sort of fall into your neck a little bit don't go too high, just a tiny bit. And then the same friend said he also then kept it in place with the bow. So I don't think he always did, but perhaps, I, I don't do this and so I can't really say what he was thinking, but perhaps he would push it back if it was sliding at all. So I don't, I would never be comfortable with that. Um, something that you will see is, there's a video I think Isaac Stern talking about shoulder rest and, and he doesn't use one, you don't see one, but he said he had this trick and he would stick it under his jacket. Okay, so that was just a sponge and that helps fill in the gap so that it looks like you're not playing with a shoulder rest. The problem is, of course, anytime you have something that's pressing against this part of the instrument, it may muffle the sound of, of your playing or of your violin. So, and you can experiment with that just by bowing and having somebody, well, actually you can do it yourself. Bow and then stick your shoulder up and then drop it and stick it up and you'll hear the instrument change sounds. Oistrock used uh, that Poulon, I think they called it Poulon Crescent C model. I don't know, I used to have one of those. It was just a little hard pad with a corduroy covering and it would lay on the back of the instrument. And he said his instrument was loud enough it didn't matter. Anyway, you can try the sponge if it's still hard for you, but set your shelf, 
Turn your head just a little bit, drop your chin. Hopefully you have a ridge. You might try raising it up. You might try just being parallel to the ground and then see if you can shift up and then back down where they meet up and travel without having to do anything crazy to hang on to it, okay? You will feel really different. And if, say, you have shoulder pain, it may be that it's very liberating. I think if you use a big arm vibrato, it may be harder, although I'm not sure. I was gonna say it may feel like it moves around more. So it may be personal. I mean, it's all personal. What type of shoulder rest you would use, what type of chin rest, everything is unique to the way your body is built. So I want that to be the most important thing as our goal is to be relaxed so we play well, okay? And it looks cool to play without a shoulder rest, but that shouldn't be your primary concern. Think about how you play and if it works for you and you can experiment and see what happens, okay? Talk to you later, bye.